You know what season it is. It's grasshopper season. This guy is a crick hopper. It's a rebel lure. I bust it out every fall and take it to the creek and we're gonna smack some fish with it. I also have something else. These are new waders I'm wearing. I'll be talking about that in a little bit. Let's get in a drink. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go, right away. What were you? Woo, rock bass, let's go. Yes. Look at my rock bass. He's the first one on the crick hopper. Heck yeah, look at that. Love it, he hit it right away. Bam, crick hopper. So cool. Nice, one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Rock bass one more time. Ah, got you. Rock bass number two. Boop. There we go. Oh, heck yeah. Crappy. We got two species now, baby. This is a black crappie. Heck yeah. Look at that, baby. Let's go. See your crap. Yeah. 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 What do I got? Oh, <laughs> tiny, tiny crappie. Tiniest crappie. <laughs> Look at this baby crappie. So tiny. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are tiny. Dude, there. Heck yeah. That's a good rock bass. Heck yeah. Nice. All right. There's fish five. We're gonna switch. Why did you? All right. Nice. Well, there's my three crick hoppers. Ignore these two little guys. We're not using them today. We'll go to a colorful crick hopper number two, and we'll end with the orange. That one right there I call the flying grasshopper because you ever see the gray colored ones? Those are flyers. So now we go here. Let's catch five more. Nothing real big with this guy. All right, let's go up, River. Oh, there we go, got one. He's not big. Whoa! Hey, bluegill, let's go. Tiny. Yeah. Oh! Six. I think in front of this is a little deeper, but the current might be too strong. Oh, yeah, we're on. Thank you, yeah, Rock Bass. Let's go. Seven. Oh, you ate it. You ate it. Ah, I'm gonna have to get the old pliers out. There. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Look, it broke off. A little guy. Sorry, you might have a barb in your mouth. No. I lost the hook. We're still doing it. You can catch three more. Oh, there we go. Heck yeah. Ugh. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, I got him. Blue girl, let's go. Hey, 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 got you. All right. There you go. Oop. I'm afraid of using my pliers. I might break off another treble hook. There you go. Yeah, bluegill. 
Nine. I'm almost done with this guy. There we go. Yeah, um, saw him come up. Heck yeah. Still haven't caught a smallmouth. They don't know what's going on. There you go. Ooh. Here's the setup, people. I got a Dioa 750 Ultralight Reel. I've got my Berkley Cherrywood Red Rod. This is a five foot six light action. And then you've got the Crick Hopper on here with six pound mono crawfish red. I do have a snap swivel on. Usually I tie it directly to, but I switched Crick Hoppers. So I wanted to be able to do that without, you know, like retying a bunch, but this is the setup this morning. And saving the best for last. This one's kind of a crawfish color. It's like a grasshopper and a crawfish, if you ask me. So I think in this guy, will get me the most fiercest bites. Oh yeah, right away. Rock bass. Nice first cast. This guy is money. There you go. <laughs> nice. All right, I think I'm gonna do better now. I'm gonna go downstream than fish. I've been waiting upstream for this whole time. Now I'm gonna turn around and go downstream. That'll give this way more action and it'll get deeper. And I can cast into those pockets a little better and hold it there. There we go. Yeah, Rocky, Coco. 12. Oh, you ate it. You ate it. Nice. Yeah, that guy came up and smacked it. Heck yeah. Bravo. I think I'm at 13 now. Nice. Nice. There you go. Yeah, one little one. Hack bass. <laughs> He's so tiny. Am I at 14 or 15? I don't know. I've lost count. Darn it. Oh. There we go. Got him. So I've got and three species, 15 fish. I'm sticking with this one. I just like the action that it has and the color. I need a smallmouth though. Oh yeah. Oh, I missed it. No, oh, they got that time. Heck yeah. Oh, a little bluegill. Hey buddy. It's starting to rain pretty good. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Hey, little bluegill. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Heck yeah, rock bass. Let's go. Nice. Woo, gotta love it. All right. There you go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Got him. There's one. There's two. Nice. It's a little creek small. That's cool. Love it. I stopped looking at it over there. Just brave enough. There we go. All right, what do we got? Is that largey? Yes. Come on. Oh, he inhaled it. Heck yeah, he inhaled it. Nice. Creek largey. Nice. Dude, five species. That's the 20th fish. Let's go. Oh, did he inhale it? He loved it. I saw a squirrel. And then he was on it. Heck yeah. Got it. Nice. Let's go. Creek Largey, let's go. Yeah, I gotta love it. That was cool. 
All right, we got five species. We got 20 fish. We did it. We got a decent fish too. You gotta love it. The waders work. I'm wearing a size 12. I suggest going up a size if you're gonna wear a lot of socks to stay warm, but in warmer weather, like where you don't have to wear thick socks, these will work great, you know? So dry coat, thanks. These things are money. Let's say goodbye to this creek largey. Let's go. I apologize if you can't see my legs. They're camouflaged. Oh, there's your dad joke for the day. Hope you liked it. <laughs> I've got new waders. These are insulated. They're by dry code. And I'm liking them. Um, it's a little cooler day today. Like about yeah, 50, 55 degrees. It's gonna get warmer, but yeah. Thought I'd test these out. See how they do. Let's get over that. They're neoprene traction on the bottom. They're not felt bottoms, they're traction. Traction's good. Let's see how deep I can get in the water with these things. I am still dry. <laughs> I'm dry still. I guess I'm following the dry code. <laughs> Look at my waders, they coming off and I'm dry down here. I'm wet up here because it's raining right now. <laughs> but the waders work. Nice. Here's the features as far as pockets are concerned. There's a front pocket right here. It's pretty big. I kept another GoPro in here and then my pliers, but there's also a pocket right in here too. And that one's bigger and I kept my lures in here. I got a little lure box in here. If you're a hunter, um, it's got shell spots right here for you. So there's two pockets and then the shell part for you. The straps are nice too because this right here, this part is nicer to put on your shoulder than the regular straps. It's raining, I cut my day short. I wanted to keep fishing, but I did catch 20 fish. I did catch four species, actually five. Push good button, C! 